hello everybody i hope that you have started studying because this time we don't have that one week gap right so we only have one to two days ka gap so we need to you know plan everything out start studying uh, like by heart everything and later on we need some time to revise also right so now we are worried that how we are going to manage all that thing because pehle we had that one week but now we have only one to two days so uh, brain eaters is here for your rescue so what we have for you is we have a, a question like the set of important questions for you all and i'll be telling that to you in this video in vi this video we'll also get an idea that how we should plan everything everything so accordingly we have this series lined up we'll be telling uh, you about it in this video only and also the resources available for you all so let's get started with the video where in the first section ka first question is state the different types of governors explain suitable unsuitable and isochronous governor okay this can come for 5 marks next is explain in detail the condition monitoring and fault diagnosis this can come for 5 to 10 marks next is explain dynamically equivalent system and correct couple or state and explain correction couple this can come for 5 or 10 marks next is determine the natural frequency of oscillation of a half solid cylinder of mass m and radius r when it is slightly displaced from the mean position and released this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is what is the logarithmic decrement and what is it in its importance this can come for 5 to 10 marks so guys these are the five questions that you need to cover in section 1 let's go to section 2 but in the first question is derive the equation for critical speed of light shaft with a single disc without damping and this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is explain the term critical speed of rotating shaft okay this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is how to convert multi springs multi dampers into single spring and damper with linear or ray uh, sorry rotational coordinate system this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is how does the force transmitted to the base change as the speed of the machine increases explain using an equation the coordinating graph this can come for 5 to 10 marks in the last question for section 2 is explain the principle of vibration measuring instruments and working principle of any one amplitude measuring instrument this can come for 5 to 10 marks so guys these are the 10 questions you need to do in section 1 and section 2 let's go to section 3 when the first question is find the natural frequency of the pulley system shown in the figure by neglecting friction and masses of the pulleys and your a particular figure will be given this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is prove the undamped measuring instrument will show a true response for the uh, frequency ratio given and the uh, ratio would be given for you and you have to prove that this can come for 10 marks next question is write the numerical for accelerometer undamped and damped or free damped single degree of freedom vibration system this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is write the numerical for gyroscope pitching or gyroscopic couple discuss the effects of damping on vibratory system this can come for 5 to 10 marks and the last question we have for you is write the numerical for vibration isolation or transmissibility this can come for 5 to 10 marks so these are the five questions you need to cover in section 3 let's go to section 4 where the first question is write the numerical for turing moment on crankshaft and this can come for 5 to 10 marks next is write the numerical for determine the magnitude of balancing masses and their respective angular positions or why is balancing necessary for rotors of high speed engines this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is write the numerical for governors this can come for 5 to 10 marks and you have to you know uh, the numerical can be of any type this uh, this will come for 10 marks mostly next is write the numerical for gyroscopic effect due to lateral misalignment of rigid disc mounted on the shaft this can come for 5 to 10 marks and the last question is write the numerical for balancing of reciprocating masses in line 
engines and V engines and excluding other radial engines. This can come for five to ten marks. So, guys, these are the twenty questions that you have to do before going for DM two. And also now the question arises: Ki plan kaise karenge? So don't worry, we have this VH series for you all, wherein we'll you know tell you that how you have to get the important questions. Kaise din a lot karne hai, kab revise karna hai, kab solve karna hai, numerical, kab theory karni etc etc. Link is in the description. Go check and get your timetable ready right now because ये बार we don't have that much time, correct? So once you're done with it, plan everything out and go on the website to get your uh, BH study materials. That is Brainter's question banks, Brainter's question papers, and Brainter's blueprints. In question papers, what we have done for you guys is we have applied a color scheme in which you'll be getting an idea. ठीक है कि ये बहुत important है, ये बहुत बार repeat हुआ है. This is you know uh, the most repeated questions etc etc. So you can analyze the paper accordingly. In question paper, uh, question banks, what we have for you is we have module wise separated questions for you all. तो आपको पता चल जाएगा question one में ये ये question आते हैं, question two में वो वो question आते हैं. तो accordingly you can you know select your comfortable module, brush up nicely and prepare for the exam. In blueprints, what we have for you is we have analyzed paper. I mean, uh, in question one, module three, four, five can come. In question two, three, four can come. Accordingly, you can select your modules which are easy for you, and you can uh, analyze that. Which 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 questions you attempt can attempt 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 Once you're done with with all of this, trust me, guys, you can score 55, 60 plus in DM2 easily. All you have to do is, uh, you know, get these questions ready by heart. It make a plan and revise it before the exam. and make sure that you practice the numerical very nicely so that you don't end up making silly mistakes and uh, marks kam hone ke chances ho ek bar ye sab ho jayega so you can score 60 plus easily i hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends so that you know they also get these important questions and also you can comment down that if you have any doubt you can comment down we are available for uh, uh, your help uh, on youtube You can also join our WhatsApp community wherein we share the resources regularly, and also follow us on Instagram because we'll be coming live regarding your these papers and doubts and etc. etc. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. This is all for today. We'll be uh, updating the new subjects uh, regularly. So make sure you subscribe the channel because uh, the papers and the important questions would be uploaded on YouTube only. So this is all for today. Thank you.